Time to figure out this hospital code. a little wet today still for some reason my hair is usually uh dry by now well at least i could jump right into that that uh door code riddle you know I mean, I have to walk to it, but still. Was it this one? No, it was the second floor, right? That's the second floor code. Where's Pyramid Head? Where is my boy? <sighs> mm. All right, back to this. Pure eyes, blue like a glassy bead. I was looking at me and I was looking at you. You're too meek, beautiful, unspoiled, thus I'm so sad. 
I suffer and so happy. It hurts. I want to hurt you, to destroy myself. What you would think if you knew how I felt. She simply smile and I'll say a word. Hmm. Even curses from your mouth would be as beautiful as pearls. Place my left hand on your face as though we were to kiss. Then I suddenly shove my thumb deep into your eye socket, abruptly, decisively. Like drilling a hole. Okay, eyes. Cheeks. Hmm. More red Mm, there's one. So many times I lost count. Drinking in your cries and bring my hopes to fruition. Biting your tongue, shredding it. Biting at your lips as if tasting your lipstick. What euphoric heights I would reach. Having my desires fulfilled like a greedy, gluttonous cur. I longed, too, for your cherry-tinted cheeks, tasty enough to bewitch my tongue. I would surely be healed and would cry like a child. And how is your tender ear? Brushes against my cheek. I wanted to creep up to my lips so I could sink my teeth into its flesh. I eat in your ear. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. Hold on. So maybe it's the stuff that he's eating. Or maybe it, uh, like the stuff that he's. So he bites the eyes, right? Bites. But, uh... Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Jesus. If your eyes blue like a glassy bead, you, you are always looking at me, and I am always looking at you. Ah, you're too meek, beautiful, unspoiled, upset. Uh... I want to hurt you to de and destroy myself. What would you think? If you knew how I felt, would you simply smile, not saying a word, even curses from your mouth, would be as beautiful as pearls. Pearls are from the, uh, come from, from oysters. Oysters live in the sea. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Left hand. So... That'd be the right eye. Right eye. Uh, what would that be like? One. Like maybe. Maybe if I was to think of the keypad as a face. Nah, that's stupid. That's dumb. Okay, but so but but you you take out the right eye. Uh I mean that of course that's assuming that it's like looking at you, you know. Or like, it, I don't know. It could, the, the the girl could be like on a freaking table, and she could she could be like upside down, looking at him or something. And he put his left hand on her cheek, and it's like her her left cheek or something. I don't know.
maddening hunger I've felt in the midst of our kisses. So many of them I've lost count. So drinking in your cries, I bring my hopes to fruition, biting your tongue, shredding it and biting at your lips as if tasting your lipstick. Ahoy, distraction. Oh, what euphoric heights I would reach, having my desires fulfilled like a greedy, gluttonous can. I longed, too, for your cherry-tinted cheeks, tasty enough to bewitch my tongue. I would surely be healed and would cry like a child. How are you today, distraction? Uh, last Friday, I made it to this puzzle, and I, since it was kind of a short stream... Uh, I didn't, I didn't make it past this puzzle. So if you have any ideas, I'm willing to listen. Uh, I'm doing just fine. Just fine. And how is your tender ear? It brushes against my cheek. I want it to creep up to my lips so I can sink my teeth into its flesh. Your left ear, always hearing words, whispered sweet as pie. I wanted to hear my true feelings. I never lied, no. But I did have my secrets. Maybe it has to do with the order in which he eats the things, or, like, destroys them. What would you think if you knew how I felt? Would you simply smile and would place my left hand on your face as though we were to kiss, and then suddenly shove my thumb deep into your eye socket? So that would be, that would be taking out the right eye, right? That'd be taking out the right eye. So right eye. Uh, the next was the tongue. Tongue and then lips? What would the lips be? Four. Maybe no. Okay, okay. I had the I had this idea. It's probably wrong, but I had this idea that the keypad could be like the face, right? So eyes. One, three are eyes, and then two would be, I guess, the nose. Four and six would be the cheeks. What well, but where are the ears? Uh, I guess I'm going to put the, the ears up in one, three, right? And then nose would be two, maybe? So eyes would be four and six, and then... Top lip <laughs> could be, or the lips could be five, and then she's got it draping. The tongue is draping, so it's eight. And then seven and nine can be the cheeks. Oh my god, I have no clue. So I think I've got, uh, so I, if I go with that, that would be four as the first number. But that's really dumb. That's really dumb. Uh, tongue, 
since I said it was hanging out of the mouth and, and <laughs> like bleh. it would be eight. Uh, what is the chin in this at all? Does the chin have anything to do with? Shredding and biting at your lips as if tasting your lipstick. Oh, with euphoric heights, I would reach, having my desires fulfilled like a greedy girl in his car. Very dented cheeks. Tasty enough to bewitch my tongue. It doesn't. It doesn't say which. If he eats a cheek. He eats the ear, though. So he he gets the the eye. He shreds the tongue. And he eats the left ear. Right? No, d does he bite the the lips too? Biting at your lips. So I, I, tongue, lips, ear, right eye, tongue, lips, left ear. Right eye, tongue, lips, left ear. Right eye, tongue, lips, left ear. No. <laughs> Maybe it's in the order in which they're... No. No. All right. The order in which they are... Uh, thing, they're, they're listed. So eyes would be one and two, right? Tongue. Tongue is next. So, three. F and then lips would be four and five. Cheeks, six and seven. Ears, eight and nine. So that would that would change it to uh, one, three, four. Wait, no. Nine. That's not right. I said eyes were one and two. Three was the tongue. Lips are four and five. Wouldn't eyes be one and three? I don't know, man. I'm just trying to list them in order of uh, that they're they're talked about now. I was trying to make the 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 keypad like the face, but. All right, you want to make the keypad the face? Eyes, one and three. Uh, nose would be two. 
I kind of gave up on it because I didn't, I couldn't think of anything. Uh, so eyes, one and three. This will be the left, or this will be the right eye, and this will be the left eye because they're facing us, you know. Two nose five. What's two then? Mouth eight. unibrow is too okay so girl had a unibrow and he didn't want to talk about her how she had a unibrow uh so that's not in the in the in the thing in the note eyes nose uh if eight is mouth would the cheeks be seven and nine and the ears be four and six Well, he eats, he, he crushes, he puts his left hand on, on the face, and then he crushes the right eye, so one. Then, he goes for the mouth and tongue, it's, which would be eight, and then... Well, no, the mouth and the tongue have to be two separate things because there there are four. It's got to be a four number code, right? Well, I because it was a four number code and two is where I'm basing that on. Uh, and this is the exact same hospital. But if the if the mouth and the tongue are two different things, then hmm. then we'll have a four number code. So it's got to be it's got to be the right eye the tongue then the mouth then the left ear So right eye tongue mouth left ear Because those are the things that that the note says that he's uh, destroyed or eaten. So he crushes he crushes the right eye. He shreds the tongue, then he bites the lips, and then he bites the left ear. Poor table. So, right eye. I'm going to say that two is the nose and that five is the five is the the lips and eight is the is the cheeks or no, eight is the mouth. So, hold on. That would be uh one Oh, you have five, eight, six. One, five, eight, six? No. What you doing that for? For your, uh, for your nibblings? For your, your nibblings. Seven. 
so that they can beat each other up in D&D again and then get salty in real life. that didn't work is it the layout that's bad is it the layout like what if what if the the numbering is what if one and three are the ears <laughs> A retribution paladin, huh? Uh, as their third member, thought you had more more nibblings than that. So, are the ears? All right, let's let's switch it and see if if the ears and the eyes. Wait, this. Mm. If the eyes were four and six, you know, then that would make this one. So that would be. Uh, left or uh, right eye, uh, tongue, four, five, eight, left ear. That's not right. Okay. Maybe it's making that into a face and the order in which they're. Maybe three is the right ear. Maybe they didn't think as they were the face. What? Maybe th so. So do it backwards. Okay. So instead of instead of saying that this side is the right side of the face, say that that side's the right side of the face. Well, it's probably backwards with me like facing the camera. Instead of saying this side is the right side of of the face say that this side is the right side of the face. Is that what you mean? In case that would be uh, right eye, six, um, tongue, mouth, ear. Wow, man, hard riddle difficulty really stepped up from the second game, huh? Well, hello. Hard difficulty riddle. Hard riddle riddle difficulty stepped up from the second game. Because the second game's hard uh hard difficulty riddles weren't that hard. Your eyes are blue like a glassy bead. You are always looking at me, and I am always looking at you. So how are you, Tanny? Tanny Banani. Always looking at me, and I'm always looking at you. That's too big. Beautiful, that's fun. <sighs> They're harder because I'm playing as a woman. <laughs> 
Are you saying that James was smarter than Heather? Well, she is only like 17, so... The age of wisdom. The, the, uh, the... His age imparted extra wisdom. I want to hurt you and destroy myself. What would you think if you knew how I felt? Would you simply smile, not saying a word? Even curses from your mouth would be as beautiful as pearls. Didn't I know hella depressed males are the smartest? Then why can't I figure this out? I place my left hand on your face as though we were to kiss and then suddenly shove my thumb deep into your eye socket. Abruptly, decisively, like drilling a hole. Eyes. Mm. Eyes, ears, cheeks. The puzzles are actually easy peasy, but because I see through the eyes of Heather, they're difficult. Can you see this through through your eyes and not through Heather's eyes? I'm willing to take a little bit of help here. Can't know the maddening hunger I've felt in the midst of our kisses. So many of them I've lost count as though drinking in your cries I bring my hopes to fruition. Okay, you just read the solution and it still makes no sense to you? Guess you're not a cryptic detective. Well, I don't want to know the answer. I just want to know if I'm on the right track with this. The keypad is the face for sure. All right, then I just have to figure out which ones represent which which uh, numbers. I too long for your cherry tinted cheeks, tasty enough to bewitch my tongue. Like I feel like the tasty enough to bewitch my tongue. So wait, maybe. Uh... Maybe, maybe the mouth and the the tongue is one, and and the cheek. Is, eaten because he says that the cheek is tasty. Tasty enough to be witch's tongue. Chili. Oh. There. Better. Brushes against my cheek. It's the left ear. So bitter. Just hearing words. I wanted to hear my feeling. My true feelings. I never lied, no. But I did have my secrets. But what must you think of me? Do you hate me? Are you afraid? There's so much extra information in this that it, it, it kind of 
gets your gets lost a little bit. Grandma's going to make me a burger after she takes a shower. Yay, Borgor. All right. Give me a hint. Get, give me, give me the ears, if you don't mind. I'm thinking the ears are one and three, but I might be wrong. Since you looked it up, I mean the eyes could be one and three, and then the the the, the ears could be. Four and six, but the cheeks, uh, do the cheeks count as two? Cheeks, nose, left ear is six. Okay. Okay, that, so that means that the right ear is four. Unless it's a Picasso. God dang it. So eyes would be one and three. Ears four and six, and that would mean that the che the cheeks are seven and nine. So the mouth would be eight still. And the nose would have to be five. But what's two? Oh well, I'm gonna I'm gonna just try it. I'm gonna try it. One. Uh, mouth. God dang it. <laughs> two is the forehead. Okay. What? The forehead isn't mentioned. One eight. Uh, and then, wait, what about cheeks? Okay, hold on. The che uh, left ear, it grazes against his cheek, and before that, he talks about the cheeks. So it would be the same, it would be the same cheek. One, eight, nine, six. God dang it. Maybe it's the maybe it's the ones that are left. So one eight nine six. Oh my God. Boiled. 
hurt you and destroy myself. What would you think if you knew how I felt? Would you simply smile, not saying a word? Even curses from your mouth would be as beautiful as pearls. I place my left hand on your face as though we were to kiss, and then suddenly shove my thumb deep into your eye socket abruptly, decisively, like drilling a hole. hurts it hurts as cinnabar red tears stream from your crushed eye you can't know the maddening hunger i've felt in the midst of our kisses so many of them i've lost count as though drinking in your cries i bring my hopes to fruition biting your tongue shredding it biting at your lips as if tasting your lipstick that's eight One, eight. Before kites, I would reach having my desires fulfilled like a greedy, gluttonous cur. I longed, too, for your cherry-tinted cheeks tasty enough to bewitch my tongue. And how is your tender ear? brushes against my cheek. I wanted to creep up to my lips so I can sink my teeth into its flesh. Your left ear means that it would be the left cheek before that, right? Or maybe it's the, the ear and then the cheek. One, eight, six, nine. God dang it. I don't know, six, nine, eight, one. <laughs> do it backwards. It has something to do with the tears. The tears? I mean, the cinnabar red tears? They would stream down and be down here. So, they would be on the cheek. So seven. So instead of one, it's seven. Seven, eight, nine, six. I mean, it wouldn't be on the ear. Four, eight, nine, six. Are you kidding me? That's dumb. They did not make that clear enough. Even for a super hard puzzle. Oh my god, she has a freaking gun! Her in the frickin' face. Get her. Yeah, take that. Yeah. How you like me now? That's dumb. I feel disappointed. Oh, 
machine, something written on it. Well, then why don't you read it? Medical record here. Could this be for this dead guy? Background unknown. Name and age unknown. Not admitted patient found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severe carotid, carotid artery. Severed. Not severe. Sev severed carotid artery. Was ga grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assume this was the cause of the neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact room M4. Like, do you agree that the, that, why would I think that it would have to do with the tears, for one? And, why, why would it go to the ear? If six is the ear, that means that four is the other ear, right? That's stupid. That's dumb. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It's been 47 minutes on that freaking riddle. M4. Ten eleven. Oh, well, I, I skipped it. Ten eleven. No. You know, I remember brute forcing a uh, a safe in Dishonored because I I couldn't find the I couldn't find the the code. And I don't I I had like the perfect system for trying every combination until I got it, and I don't remember what it is now. Don't you love their ragdoll? I love their ragdoll. Stab. <sighs> All that for a... Uh... All that for a... Uh... For what you call it. First aid kit. Maybe M6 will have the answer to the attaché case. Nope. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's funny. Well, just give it to your, give it to your, uh, your, your, uh, your retribution paladin then. Maybe, maybe your niece will, will want it. Nephews 12, right? Is this the same? Four. Eight, nine, six. No. Well, there's no zero, so I can't say that it's 10, 11. Where's that 10, 11 gonna come in? There's only like, oh, well, let me go look at that freaking clock again. Ah. I assumed it was for all of them. All of them would get to play. Ten, eleven. You know, I'm I'm noticing that there's not a little hammer to actually hit the bells up at the top of this thing, so I'm wondering how it was ringing in the first place. The alarm is already off. Should I turn it back on? This one. Four, three. Grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assume this was causing that one. For investigation. Well, maybe I can read his arm now. Ah! The start time is my key. Well, then it should have opened whenever I said 10 11. Oh. <laughs> there was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bagger he is. Ah, uh, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own on my chest since I can't cut it open to show you my heart? I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. 
Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Stanley Coleman. Does it work now? If I put 10, 11. The start time. Two two one one, twenty four hour clock. Oh, let's try that out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> God dang it! Uh. I forgot that 24 hour clocks exist. I feel stupid. Unlike a normal camera, you can't see the developed photos right away. Oh, you can see the developed photos right away. Okay, where can I use? Where can I use a camera? I've already got the thing in C4. That was the key. Basement storeroom. I mean, I, I need something long to get back there, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure the visiting room doesn't have anything. Today's going to be one of those days, I guess, though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, it doesn't say AM or PM. I might have thought about that, about doing that, if it said AM or PM on the clock. Oh, we got new... I can't see, Heather! Oh my god.
you were downloading rather than Hey, with uh, with RBG Maker, MV make map making maps is pretty easy. And you know, it's not like they're the best. Like if I had my way, I would have like hand drawn with like special little little things just for that map. Like, hey, look, this statue is specific. But, you know, I don't have the, the stuff to make specific statues. And for the most part, that's why I only do, like, town maps and battle maps. Oh, you got a gun! I'd rather take a pistol whip than a shot. I would like it to be a big thing, but... Nighty night, sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, dear distraction. Have a good night, Sunny. Big-titted women. Fat bottom girls. A uh, question. I have an instant camera. I don't know how much film is in there, but if I was to take a picture of this save spot right here, would I have a portable save spot? I'm not ask asking in like... I know that I can't, you know? I'm wondering if that would work in like lore, not mechanics wise. I already got everything in here, right? Why does everything instantly get scarier whenever it's, uh, whenever it's dirty? Watch me not even have to take a picture of anything. Do I take a picture of this and then I see that there are fingerprints because it's a ghost? C12? I haven't been in C12 in a while. Wait. Oh, also the kitchen. C12. 
two, C twelve. I don't know what's going on. C two. Why did I see twelve? Say twelve. Seems like there's nothing in there at all. Let's go to the visiting room. Been a while since I've been in here, yeah. Nice, but whatever. Nice, but whatever. Not you. Director's room. Uh, doctor's lounge. I thought there was a director's room. Oh, the director's room is locked. Or, uh, broken. So I can't get in there. It's for this Leonard guy. Could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Room S12. Presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas, suspect mild schizophrenia. We'll continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. This is the guy that, who wrote that sick diary. Room S07, usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. <laughs> okay, well... I guess to the to the basement. I have no clue how a camera will help me get whatever that is down there. Cuz there's supposed to be a key in the basement storeroom. Maybe it's a key code and then I take a picture of the key code. Please don't be so stupid that I have to take a blind photograph behind a thing and hope that I get the right thing. I 
How did you get it so perfect? I never in a million years. Well, I guess I can't say that because I did think of it. It was like 7165 or something like that. I don't know. That's really dumb, though. Was that not what was? Oh, it's in memos, isn't it? Seven one six four. Seven one six four. Ah, oh, man. S1. Oh my god. Is that a TV guide? Tissue and an alarm clock, huh? Clock's been broken, but otherwise, no big deal. It's a magazine, just some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching Despair. Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, the SS, the SHSSS, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope, but at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say, Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out, and since then it hasn't, been, hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs of, in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of the raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as The Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite, chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Mm. Stanley Coleman was an S7. And Leonard was an S14. Is it a coincidence that they are uh, 
Is there just beef jerky? That they are uh, multiples of each other. Of course I'd be able to go into this one. He broke the doll. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it. Saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today. The day I'd see you, the day you'd save me, today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell, I love you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my. So I don't actually get to meet Stanley Coleman? That's kind of disappointing. I stabbed. I should have swung. No, no, no. Where did you guys come from? Are you still alive? Stop it. I've already been through this place. Submachine gun bullets, 96, 21, and 20. kidding me she was being pushed hello distraction helped me to figure out that puzzle it was stupid how are you today Hello. Mushy mush. Hello? No, I'm not. Don't lie to me, Heather. You're always trying to run from your responsibility. Have you come to apologize? Why is this so quiet whenever it's in cutscenes? Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. I don't want to hear about it either. Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Who are you? Is this Malcolm McDowell? Yeah, it's Malcolm McDowell.
through you. Do it. Kill her. She killed my father. Oh, I'm just fine. The seal of Metatron? Or whatever it was in the movie? I've already been down there, though. But this is supposed to be his room. I found the file. Did you know the the answer to that freaking that that door code? I got to stop saying freaking so much. Did you know that the answer to that door code was stupid? Did you know that? You know, the one with the eyes getting gouged and the... And the, the, the ear eating. You know, this one. Did you know that that was stupid? Did you know that this is stupid? So how'd I figure it out? Uh... I kind of had this idea to look at it as a face. Look at, at the at the keypad like a face. And so I started trying to assign like eyes and stuff. And I was like making the ears and stuff one and three and uh, whatever, you know. But uh, the eyes are one and three. And that the, the ears are four and six. And then the uh, the cheeks are, are uh, uh, seven and nine. And uh, the nose, forehead, and mouth. So forehead is two, nose is five, and the mouth is eight. And so... Uh, so that's that's what they were after I, I was like I don't know which ones are supposed to be which like whenever it came to the eyes and the the ears I didn't know if the eyes were supposed to be at the top and the ears were supposed to be at the in the middle or if the ears were at the top or you know and uh distraction looked it up and was like I I, I was just like all right I need at least the ears. <laughs> you know? And so he gave me the ears that that the left ear was six. And then I had one of my answers. And so I was like, all right. Then that tells me that the eyes are at the top and everything, blah, blah, blah. So uh, using the left hand he puts his left hand on there and digs the the right eye of the of the lady out with his with his thumb so that would be one right and then he eats the mouth and the tongue so that would be uh that would be eight 
And then he starts talking about cheeks. And since it's the left ear, I was like, all right, so it would be the left cheek. So it was nine. And then he eats the ear. And then that was six. So it was, uh, so I got the code of one, eight, nine, six, which was wrong. I love you too. It's way dreams. And no, no, it's not all correct. Because I was like, why isn't this working? It, this, this should be it, right? And then distraction said it has to do with the, with the tears, with like, you know, the blood running de from the, the eye, not the actual eye itself. And I was like, Oh, well, then it would be on the cheek because it would run down the cheek. Uh, and so I changed my answer from 1896 to 7896. And that was still wrong. So then I changed it to 4896 and that was correct. But why was that correct? The blood doesn't go on to the ear. That's stupid. That's stupid. It's dumb dummy pants. So, even though I got it, I wasn't happy about getting it. Well, that's new. That's a new one right there. The code changes to one of two different numbers on hard? I didn't know that. I'm going to see if Odin needs to go out. Because I don't know when the last time he's been out is. And I'm going to take my plate in there.
could have been 4876 or 4896. Why would it be 4876? Yeah. Why would that have been the answer? Oh, I should save it before I actually go in here. That would be dumb. Because what if I lose? What if I die? Where's the closest? Third floor. Third floor. The code and the poem changes to be one of those two answers. So, it... Well, the nine was because it was... It was the cheek. I chose nine because it was the cheek underneath the left ear. Does it, like, say the the right cheek? And why would I have known that I was supposed to use the blood trail from the eye? Why, why, would, why would I have known that? Why would I not think that it just has to do with what what got destroyed? I would like an answer to that question. Why is the first number have its rules changed? Also, if if 4 is supposed to be the right ear, uh why would the why would the blood on the eye go to the ear? Why wouldn't it go down to the seven instead of the four? <sighs> what whatever. I'm it's over. We 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 finished it. Either cheek could be applied to the code and work. I know, but the reason that I went with the left cheek is because it was underneath underneath the left ear <laughs> ooh man ooh man I no no <laughs> oh well I guess this is the way I need to go anyway Begun on her hill. Through the town of Silent Hill, rode a heather one fine day. There weren't no folks around her, and she didn't want to stay. I would like to look in front of me, please. Oh my god. Should I make a big iron Silent Hill 3 parody? <laughs> no, no, that's where I came from. 
Maybe there's not a dead end here now. There's still a dead end? I don't have a map of this area. Oh. Hey, I made it. Or not. Ah, oh, come on, man. There's a big iron on her here. Big iron on her here. This one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. But I know this one. It must be. Pick me down his head. Wait, this is from the first one. What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa, who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird, though. So, she's having a memory of how Alessa felt uh, toward her nurse. So, Alessa liked her nurse. That's cool. God. What is that? What is that valve you're you're turning do? Sh so since you said a pyramid on his head, should I do it for Silent Hill 2 instead? <laughs> instead of Silent Hill 3? Oh my god, I can't see. Bro. That's the main demon in this game, by the way. The the Valve Man. Valve Man is the main demon. I don't know. The thing about Big Iron is that it's about a, t a, a ranger that is looking for somebody to kill him or, you know, take him dead or alive. And that's why I immediately go for, for Heather more than James because Heather is here for Claudia to kill Claudia, you know? So you, they can have like 
a gun battle. The gun owner here. Me gun. Me gun. <laughs> I saw it pop into existence. Come here. Yeah, yeah. Skip. The hell was I daydreaming? No, it was, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse know who that is. That was Lisa. Lisa. Stay with me, Harry. Please stay with me. This is Main Demon. It's kind of a uh, kind of nondescript for being Main Demon. I see you have your undulating flesh walls. Is that what this valve does? It undulates the flesh walls. I figured it out. Alright, so... I... I can see a little better in this, in here now. Where did I drop? Where did I fall? Now look forward. I don't want you falling again. Oh my god, it's so dark. Even with my freaking... Even with my... Just until vertical lines appear faint. Oh, I, I can't even see them until level seven. Oh, Odin, you're driving me nuts, bro. still super dark not like I did too much myself too many too much of a favor oh my god this guy's kind of what pyramid head is in the movie I mean, he's not so much a guardian as the one who follows you. are you sure about that are you making stuff up Is that your interpretation? Or is that... That, like... Do, does somebody come in and say... Does does this guy with the valve... Oh, no, 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 no. Does the valve dude come in? And then Claudia's like, This is the guy who's been watching you. Don't lick my hand! This is the guy who's been watching you. Making sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Why do you hate? Ah! Uh, why do you hate Silent Hill so much? Oh my god! Oh Jesus!
off of me. I can't, for the love of God. Die. Jesus. Oh, man. I have a map again. God, this camera. I tried to kick it! Really? Do you really want to ride this elevator? I don't. The mirror got me. I don't care for the goo in the mirror. I don't care for it. I don't... Okay. Don't care that I'm goo. Don't care that I'm goo right now. Where tag, thank you for the follow. Hmm. Oh, and now she stopped moving. Okay. Should I have left before it got to this point? Should I have left this room? You don't want to you don't want to comment on this? You don't want to comment on anything that's happening in here, Heather? Well, I guess I just died. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on, turn off that camera. <sighs> and I guess I'm gonna run back again. I don't know why I considered that like a face your fears type of room. Stay in there and don't run away type of thing and you'll be rewarded. I guess that was dumb. That was a dumb thought. Just run. I'm, 
I'm running like freaking Harry now. Can't run in a straight line just like her dad. Alright, we're good now. Thank you again. What is keeping that child alive? Hatred and thoughts of revenge. There's a mouth there. There's also some words there that I can't read. Also, I noticed this... This lady here. Is that supposed to be Lisa? Lisa? What is this? Then I need to check this out. I'd like to avoid touching this kind of thing. I touch the meat door. I don't know either. Straight for going straight for the handgun this time. No, oh, my God. How are you missing? I guess that counts. All right, well, I only got hit like once, twice. Somewhere around there. One, twice. Three times later, back in here. Let's look at this mirror and then we leave. Okay, awesome. Please don't tell me that this is a like a definite death that you have to you have to die now. Quit looking at.
Alright, well that doesn't do anything. Don't freaking tell me that this is Okay, this game Are you serious? Okay. Uh. That was ridiculous. The day room? Ah! Dave. Hey, look, a hand. Is that Stanley's hand? Where's Stanley? S six. All right. But I can go into here? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 you stupid bitch. I don't have a map of this area. I just saw that I had a map of that area. Oh my god. Examining room four. Is 
dead body hanging from the ceiling. Blood dripping from it. Has totally filled the bucket set out below. Who would do this? And for what? Looks like a full-out bloodletting. Stanley? Is that Stanley? No, you stupid bitch. Oop. Done with food. Consumption of nutrients over. All right. Into the elevator. Elevator, more like elevator. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's go to the linen room. You know, it'll definitely be clean in there. No, never mind. The linen room in in the nightmare world. That's definitely gonna smell good. Is this it? Is this my favorite part and the only part I know about the vi about the game? Is this happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. It is. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear, who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. <laughs> you can 
have the one you hate the most. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. their friend something strange is cooped up in the lager I think I'm safe but I shouldn't get too close well aren't you a silly fella I do love that part. It's hilarious. Can I shoot it? Should I shoot it? I'm gonna leave it alone. It ain't hurting me. You son of a bitch! I can't, I can't waste all my ammo. I hate uh, these are the worst enemies in this game. To, do you have to slam your head into the mic? Do you have to do that? Is Why is that just your favorite thing to do? Whoever was here before is gone, so is that smoky stuff? What was that any what are you talking about? What does that even mean? Well, not going that way. Yes. Lie down, you fool. And and when you lie down. I shall str- Oh god! Dang it! I'm in the middle of something! I shall reign supreme. Fourteen thousand years. There's so many doors. Uh. No, no. I, oh my God, oh my, oh my God. Take her out. 
Take her out. Take her out before the foot grabber gets here. You foot grabber. Oh. Oh, rude. Oh, no. There's a nurse behind me now. No, foot grabber. Get off of me. No. Get up. No. <sighs> Odin. A thousand swings, Heather. A, sa a thousand swings a day. And you will unlock the power of Bushido. I want Heather to get all weeb. And like, start doing... Doing Eido moves and quick draw. And she sheathes her sword and then just waits for the nurse. How do you spell what? Bushi? B U S H I D O. Bushido. It's the code of the samurai. Dr. Midgive, please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true, according to the head nurse. I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. So, I'm noticing that monsters and such are so much stronger in this game compared to the first two on normal difficulty. Is that on purpose? Is like everything has gotten so much worse? Or is that just because... Just a, rap and a random happenstance. Or is it supposed to be like Heather is a teenage girl where the other one, the other dudes were like grown men. And so everything is a little bit tougher for her. Locked. It's not just that it's broken, it's locked. Not a fan of the behind the... Oh. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, eh, Leonard? I see this. I want to ask him why. So you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Yeah, Leonard. He said, I have a seal. Mm. Let
left and examine the room. Why? What is your problem, child? Lay down. Why am I so whiny in this? Why am I so angsty? No! I'm not like that in real life. I'm a go-getter. That's what they did with Vincent? They made him basically my love interest? That's gross. He was a creepy man. A creepy creep creeper. I would never. Claudia is the lady from the Matrix. Why would they? Why, Trinity, why? The Black Rook is the praying sort who hears the gods in the skies. His whispered petitions go on without end, and glassy and dim are his eyes. Cock Robin. <laughs> Cock Robin, who hid the key away, in is ash in the oven. All right. The place he held is empty now, and the doors remain shut tight. Okay, I thought I was going in. I thought it was like a door. Burn the one who knows no death, pure, adored by those above, no prayers within, just simple love. And now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Or Nybor McDew Loxley. McDew me luck. <laughs> Nibor. And now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Burn up that heavy body of his, make it wind, dancing in the sky, that bottomless gut, now a cloud, now a sigh. The sweet blood on his laughing lips now calls him to the gates of hell. There burns evermore that soulless shell. Four bodies return to ashes, thus the door is opened, thus the door is opened. Once again. This memo here, let's see. The owl who forgot the sky resigned to his poor earthbound state. Hungry or full didn't matter at all. He ate and he ate and he ate. Okay, two... I think that one's the, f the first one. Dove's hope died. He chose his path. Flapping his wings still fell. Drenched in scarlet. Here they lay. His cheeks pale, white, and chill. Wait, do I have to burn four bodies? Burn the one that knows no death. Pure, adored by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. Now the pining hunter... Flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Burn up that heavy body of his, make it wind, dancing in the skies. That bottomless gut, now a cloud. That's not. Uh, hold on. Four bodies. And then I get to look at this thing. E yeah. Four bodies. 
memo here. Let's see. Who killed Cock Robin? The Sparrow, they said. He wants them all dead. To him, honey sweet is their sobbing. The grass the thrush so loved to eat gave him sweet happiness. He sank ever deeper and finally fell to destruction and fatal distress. Like, maybe it's my brain not wanting to work today. But I'm not understanding this one at all. Memo here, let's see. He seeks out her soul by his own black ambition, frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs into her ear. What cruel Linnet wants, he gets. Oh, that's the dude. Uh, is that the dude who wrote the, the poem for Floor 2? Black Rook is the praying sword who hears the gods in the sky. His whispered petitions go on without end, and glassy and dim are his eyes. The lark's child lost all of his words and walled himself up all away, heart and mouth both locked up tight in a cage where none want to stay. The wren, with pure heart and yet unrefined, makes us laugh with his feeble lip smacking. But still we all know he shall never grow old. And he knows not how much he is lacking. Oh, it's on the foot this time. The kite, hot crazy and panting mad, sweet shackles that tease and excite. Death itself would drive him wild, red blood that turns milky white. Is that... Is that supposed to be semen? There's a memo here, let's see. Dove's hope died. There's this path black with the wings of scarlet. Okay. The brain with pure heart. Okay, so. Nine. I think nine is the first one. Burn the one who knows no death, pure, adored by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. That would be the Rin, right? Nine. Hold on. Pure of heart. Pure heart. So life with his feeble lip smacking. There's no death. Pure. Pure. That... Pining Hunter is that one dude who was like, hey, I'm gonna... Who scared the dude with whispers of love, I think. The Owl. Which was two. Okay, I think it's... Nine, seven, two something. Nine, seven, Now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, distant breath within the air. Burn up that heavy body of his. Sweet blood on his laughing lips. Now calls into the gates of hell. There burns evermore that soulless shell. His pathway was drenched in scarlet where here they lay, his cheeks pale, white, and chill. Hmm. 
I don't think it's the dove. Could be, well, it, it can't be zero because it would have, well, I guess it wouldn't if it was right for everybody else, but. Oh, it's over there. Lux child lost all his words and walled himself up all away. Heart and mouth both locked up tight in a cage where none want to stay. Well, that, I can, I'm pretty sure that I can just go ahead and ignore that one. That one, I don't need to worry about. It's not four. Lycrick is the praying sort who hears the gods. Uh, nothing about praying in any of those. Come here. Frightening her out of her wits. He seeks out her soul. Okay, yeah, I think that one's... Cock Robin. You know what? Here's the thing. If I have all of the others right, nope. I don't have all the others right. Burn the one who knows no death, pure, adored by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. And now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Okay, maybe not, maybe, maybe seven isn't the pining hunter. Hmm. Okay, let's let's look for the hunter. Then again, nine might not even be the right one. Feeble lip smacking. Lay down. Black Rook is a plain, a praying sort who hears the gods in the skies. His whispered petitions go on without end, and glassy and dim are his eyes. Oh, we've made it to another one of these, have we? <laughs> Burn the one who knows no death, pure, adored by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. Now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Burn up that heavy botter, body of his, make it wind, dancing in the sky. That bottomless gut, now a cloud, now a sigh. Sweet blood on his lap. Okay, let, one at a time. One at a time. I know that two... Two is the third one. Two is two is the third one. Lock's child one one two three. Burn up 
burn the one who knows no death, pure adored by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. I think that's nine. And now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Okay. Pining hunter, flames longing for his rebirth. Said he wants them all dead, didn't he? Sink ever deeper, finally fell to the destruction and fatal disease. Sinks out her soul. You see, I, I thought that one might be this one because, uh, like, seeking out her soul felt like maybe it has more to, more to do with the type of bird, not the black rook. Lark is not a hunter. The kite, hot, crazy man. Hmm. I mean, that... That one could be... Could be that one. No... Will I try every single possible combination before I find the right one? Flames longing for his rebirth. Odin. Burn up that heavy body of his. Uh, that one I know has has to be two. That one has to be two. Sweet blood on his laughing lips now calls him to the gates of hell. There burns evermore that soulless shell. <laughs> you are driving me nuts. Odin. God dang it. Oh, God. All right, we're doing this one-handed. I can't... I can't puzzle with you doing this crap. Why can't four be it again? Why did I decide that four can't be? Why do they have, why can't they be in order? Why can't it start from like zero and then Red blood that turns milky white. You're driving me nuts, man. You've been like this all day. I don't know why you're like this. I took you out. You got plenty of room to lay down. You're not a big dog. And every time you you bump into the mic, 
You make me forget everything about this this riddle. Burn the one who knows no death, pure, adored by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. And now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Burn up that heavy body of his, make it wind, dancing in the sky, that bottomless gut, now a cloud, now a sigh. Sweet blood on his laughing lips now calls him to the gates of hell. There burns evermore that soulless shell. Like, that one could be zero to me. Could be one. No, I wanted the lock. That's why I'm looking closer to the lock. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I know that 902 isn't right. was three it was three the grass the thrush loved so loved to eat gave him sweet happiness he sank ever deeper and finally fell to destruction and fatal distress so if i was to make two three Can't focus. Brain's not working. Burn the one who knows no death. Pure adored by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. All right. Hold on. The wren with pure heart. It's pure. That's why I'm with it. But still, we all know that he shall ne never grow old. And he knows not how much he is lacking. So he doesn't know that he's going to die. And he's pure. I said so up there. So he's pure idiot that that makes people laugh and they love him. That's why I think the first one is nine. Now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Mm. sure about that i'm getting hung up on the hunter though burn up the he that heavy body of his make it wind dancing in the sky that bottomless gut now a cloud now a sigh that one's definitely two because it says on two that he was fat and that he couldn't fly anymore 
The owl was fat. Sweet blood on his laughing lips now calls him to the gates of hell. There burns evermore that soulless shell. <sighs> Could be the kite. The panting man. Sweet shackles that tease and excite. Death itself will drive him wild. Nine blank, two. Blank. Nine blank, two blank. Dove's hope died. He chose his path. His flapping wings still fell. Fell still. Drenched in scarlet, here they lay. His cheeks pale, white, and chill. Hold on. I feel like nine and two have to be right. The, the lark's child it says lark's child so Hold on.
<sighs> this game is making me feel so stupid. Burn the one who knows no death, pure, adored by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. Now the pining hunter. The flames longing for his rebirth. A distant breath within the earth. Well, everything that I've tried with actually trying, it doesn't work. So, yes, I was I was trying to brute force it for a, a few seconds. Burn up that heavy body of his, make it wind, dance in the sky. That bottomless gut, now a cloud, now a sigh. Sweet blood on his laughing lips, now calls him to the gates of hell. There burns evermore that soulless shell. Okay, I think that the third one, with so much clarity in my brain, is this one. The owl who forgot the sky, resigned to his poor earth-bound state, Hungry or full, it didn't matter at all. He ate and he ate and he ate. See? Burn up that heavy body of his. Make it wind, dancing in the sky. That bottomless gut, now a cloud, now a sigh. So I think that one's two. I think the third, the third number of the code is two. Actually, owls are hunters. It could be, it could be the second number. Yeah, you see this. I'm I'm not focusing on the bird part. But owl the owl is the only hunter. That I can think of. Doves don't hunt. Do they? I wouldn't like assistance, but I would take some. The red. Oh. I feel foggy today. Mm, I might have a fever. <laughs> Black Rook. Uh, he seeks out her soul by his own black ambition, frightening her out of her wits. Please bring love songs to her ear, where cruel in it once he gets. The grass the thrush so loved to eat gave him sweet happiness. He sank ever deeper and finally fell to destruction and fatal distress. I mean, that one also has eating involved. Yeah, so yeah, I would like to be able to do it on my own. But I would take some assistance because... I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Burn the one who knows no death, pure, adored by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. Now the pining hunter. D dove? So each poem has a unique bird in it. The key to solving this is the th in the first four verses of on the oven door.
Yeah. Yeah. Pure. I'm gonna say that the dove is pure. I'm gonna say that the, the first number is six. Instead of nine this time. Because doves are pure. Let's think more about the... Let's think more about the birds instead of... Uh... This is all stuff that I know. Pining hunter. The flames longing for his rebirth or just a breath of the earth. Owl to to uh, th three. That's the word the first verse has in as pure, but not six. That's the word the first verse has in common, but it's not six. What? How are doves not considered pure? I thought it was nine at first. See nothing about fire. The owl who forgot the sky. I still think that's the third one. I have not seen anything to tell me that it's not. Heart and mouth both locked up tight at a cage where none want to stay. In a cage where none want to stay, that could be hell. Where it burns his soulless shell. No. Who killed Cock Robin? Hmm. I don't care anymore. What's the answer? Oh, yeah, he's number seven now. He's number seven now.
Why does it keep skipping the third one? Three is two. The third one is two. Yeah, I just want the code. I don't care anymore. This is impossible for me. I would never be able to get this. Nine two seven one. What? So it was based on the hunter, be the owl being the hunter. And I had the first one right too. I wanted, I wanted it to be. I, I, I thought the first one was nine, and then I, I, I stopped thinking that at some point and then I was talking about how the owl could be the second one instead of the third one the seven which one was seven I don't remember no don't look at the thing Look at the memo. It was impossible. No, not you. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Nine, I said that one was nine. That one was two. And I said that it could be two, but then I was so convinced that it was... Uh, the third one. But this one was seven? Why is this one seven? Why is this one Stanley Coleman? <laughs> Sweet blood on his laughing lips. Now it calls him to the gate of hell. And that one was one. Why was that one one? Like, who who is this one? Is this one the sparrow? Because it... The way that it says it, it's like the the person who this... Who, who is number one is asking who killed Cock Robin. No, I know that that one's Stanley Coleman. I know. I'm just saying, why is why is he the fat one that gets burned? There's nothing in this that has said anything about Stanley eating anything. Whatever. Um, there was a locked door on the second floor, I think. It wasn't the second floor. It was the first floor.
which poem? I've I've seen so many poems. Third verse is arguably the most difficult as there is no direct clue to which bird it refers to. Turns out that the verse is based on the song of the linnet which is attached to Stanley's body. There's a mysterious voice on the locker phone said Stanley's number seven. Yeah, I got that part. Stanley's diaries are clues in relation to the third verse of the poem as his bottomless gut refers to his bottomless hunger for love and that heavy body of his mega wind dancing in the sky. <sighs> Whatever. That's dumb. Everything is dumb because I I am dumb. Get out of my way. I'm trying to run here. And you're just like, no, I'm gonna stay a body on the ground with collision. Happy first birthday. Did you solve it though? Did you? Or did you look it up? No, oh, don't use the strong attack. I'm tapping. No, get stun locked. Why do they just not care whenever they're stomping? Like, why are they not... Why are they not... Stomping like crazy? Wait, what did that say? God dang it. Uh, I mean, yeah, that counts. As not looking it up. Happy 38th birthday. 14 plus 7 is 17. It plus 17 is 38. It, but it's not my birthday. <laughs> Who's the guy saying happy birthday? Who's that supposed to be? Do we meet him? Do we meet happy birthday? Oh, you just don't even... 
Don't even acknowledge that one. Don't even acknowledge those. Those doors don't exist. They're just walls now. It's all that drawn on the dividing screens at the hospital. But this is different. Seems like it was drawn a long time ago. Somehow. Somehow. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that the that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart, to praise and to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no com comparable rite can be found in religions practiced nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. Wait, what? Oh, wait. There was a bucket of blood. I need to get that bucket of blood, I guess. And where was that? Bucket of blood examining room four. I need to spray that all over the altar. Just take a drink and then... <laughs> Big mouthful of blood and just go... <laughs> Yep, that's the thing. Alright, question. Question. Question about Stanley. About Stanley. Danny. Was. I was assuming that it was like the director, the hospital director, who was like. Uh, who was nuts and like eating people. Was that... When did I get this? I put blood in the plastic bag. Got a plastic bag with blood in it. No, oh, that's not the door. That's why I'm not going out of it. But the... The second floor... The second floor door code with like the the eyes and stuff is I was thinking that that was like the director of the hospital was that Stanley Coleman because he like eats pieces in that 
so that if, if that's him then that could be a hint to him like eating wait what was it the first it was the f third floor oh my god oh my god Way, get out of here. No. Which floor was it? It was the first floor? It was the first floor. Hmm. <laughs> But if we start thinking of that as Stanley Coleman, aka number seven, then it starts to kind of make a little bit of sense, right? That he would be eaten. Because it's talking about eating ears and stuff. Yeah, now spray it. You made a mess, Heather. You made a mess. Now there's just a ladder there. Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Heather. There's just a freaking flesh hole there. There's an earth prolapse. I'm sleepy. Why is this so freaking quiet? I wonder if I can push him into that thing.
Yeah, I don't know why it's so much quieter whenever it's in a cutscene. Yeah, pretty much. Forgot that I still have the the katana on. I got a few good hits in though. Got a few good hits in. Ah. Ah, come on. I feel like I'm supposed to get him to like fall into that grindy thing. I just saved, right? If I was to run into that grindy thing, would I die? Not really that scary. Look, I didn't even... Um, have I ever seen Good Burger? Yes, I have. Keenan and Kel was one of my favorite shows whenever I was younger. And sometimes I still call, uh, harken back to a memory that I have of Kel going to the doctor and getting a... getting an x-ray done uh, where, where the x-ray is all orange because he's drank so much orange soda that his, his chest x-ray was orange. Why? Bam. 
fame. I feel like I'm not getting anywhere right now. Okay. So I remember the movie where Kirk always kept saying, you mess with me, you go into the grinder. No. No, I don't remember that. Is that part of Good Burger? I don't remember that. Leif's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Well, that feels like a big waste of time. Oh, you got the seal, though, I guess. Hey, it's that thing from the movie. It's that thing. It's the it's the talisman from Good Burger. Yeah, it, it's been a really long time since I've watched Good Burger. So, I I don't remember that. Oh! Because my light wasn't on. I thought I was in a loading screen. God's beloved, no. Oh, you mock of God. You never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasure this world and I want to find my happiness while I'm still here I am also not a taste only meat patty person you hated your father didn't you I saw the way you treated him you kissed him you made you cry well of course you did because you're her son burns into my mind. Yes. Yes. And that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. What does that even mean, man? When is she going to turn into a Cenobite that misses the entire freaking point of Silent Hill monster design? 
I got razor blades in my head and I got no lips. Ooh, I'm scary and I got I got swords for arms. Let me fight pyramid head. Aren't I so scurry? Man, this game is taking me a lot longer to get through. Well, uh, no, you know, it takes me a while to get get through the the hospitals, I guess. It's taken me a little while my first run through for every hospital. Does this one have multiple endings? Because I kind, I'm kind of, I'm kind of out of care. For multiple endings. I just want to get the best one and then I don't care about the others. To the end. To the end. That's not the end, that's a big dead end. A dead end. That's a dead end. How did we get a room here? How did we even get a room here? There's nobody here. And Claudia and Vince, it's in the room next door. We're in room 106. Oh no, they were in room 106. Where's Douglas? He went out. But he left the message for you. Was there someone else here just now? No, no, just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. by that you don't understand that's where claudia what's up with his shadow across the lake on the north side he's he's, he's like i like got a got a uh, claw shadow probably the only way in now go northwest on nathan avenue it's a bit far wrong you don't trust me no no I don't I don't trust you at all okay so if this is anything like the movie and I'm going if I'm going to the to the amusement park and this is anything like the movie uh i'll be that'll be like the last place i have to go through right and then i'll make it to to the church and then pyramid head will have a fight with lady will will fight trinity from the matrix Albino Trinity. Ah. 
Ah, man. So how do I get the best ending? I should have put a I should have put like a buffer in between these games. Like they have worn me out as a Friday game. I made it. That sucks for you, huh? Sucks for me. Uh, because I don't have a map. Hey! It's this place! It's this place. I know what to do. I know what to do. See, this is the hole that I fell down. If I fall down this hole, I will wake up. Uh. Well, that's a hole. Cleaning in progress. This place hadn't been cleaned. This place ain't cleaned. Man, you crazy. a little lost am I supposed to go through here or something door shut tight won't open at all well I made it to the end of the game Hey, it's big hands. It's Mr. Fister. It's Mr. Lister the Sister Fister. Well, this has got a light on, so of course you can go in here. You don't want one? Cookies and candies? You don't need that! I think you could use some sugar, but... I mean, come on. Beef jerky. 
Would, if you were in this situation, would you take some, like... Would you take some chocolate from a... From a convenience store that had been, like, turned like this? That was all gross like this? Like a box of animal crackers or something? From the amusement park gift shop? Look at that. that. That totally looks like something I should pick up. That looks like ammo. Oh my god. Was that ammo? Why is there just ammo on a... On a gift shop shelf at a, an amusement park? Well, that scared me. Oh my god. Yay! Thank you for waiting. Well, this is probably the worst situation that I could have hoped to be in right now. Kick it! I am completely out of shotgun ammo. I don't care. I just saved. Oops. Roller coaster key. Well, I'm glad that I died. Otherwise, I wouldn't have noticed that. Here, I'll save it again, just in case I die again. That's a better idea. In case I die again. Sure have died a lot more in this one compared to the other one. Ton, it doesn't take up ammo. Hope I'm going the right way. Would you get off of me, you piece of crap? 
the hell, dude? This is freaking ridiculous. Pressing left, you should turn left. Okay, I don't know exactly know what I clicked, but I clicked something. What the? What the heck is that? upstairs where I came from oh these are the worst these are the most annoying ones they're so loud I didn't see that door. So I'm glad that there's a new area, though. No, 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 you bitch. 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 Oh, well, that's not fair. You better jump. You can clear that. Jump. Not that way. Jump if you jump if you ran and jumped it would have went right under you I hired you to find the girl and do you perform it serviceably what is it now you lied to me about Heather lady I don't like She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. <laughs> yeah, but she says she was happy. She was deranged by him. Deceived. Because her true self had not yet awakened. She prayed to God for healing. But when Alessa, mother of God, Awakens. You know that Alessa hates you all, right? <laughs> she will usher in the eternal paradise. Why does nobody know that? 
Why does nobody understand that? No hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. Paradise? The castrated sheep. Well, you're not very good at explaining things. You're going to kill me? Is it really so easy for you? Let it be boring. Then I truly do. He's going to get stabbed from behind. He's going to get stabbed by some monster thing. I feel it. Or it's going to be her. She's going to stab him because she's got hooks. She's got a hook hand and she's got a sword hand. And she's got she got saw blades in her head. And no lips. I remember no lips for some reason. Did she have lips? Do you remember if she had lips? Because it looked like she was just a mix of all kinds of different Cenobites. Yeah. Yeah, that's Trinity. That's Albino Trinity right there. Why does it seem like I never get a, f a map? In, in the amusement park? <laughs> but then again, what? God dang it! All right, we're in the House of Horrors. Borley Haunted Mansion. It's because it bores people to death. Okay, I like Silent Hill. I like the Silent Hill games, but I think, I think playing them in a row was a bad idea for my enjoyment of the series as it, as it went on. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. We're so glad you came. Please come inside and look around. Uh, Heather walks into the haunted, haunted house with a, with a katana and just accidentally decapitates a regular worker. Was it with a katana? Because he was hungry. Because I felt I had to. Anyway, I'm lying. It's all just a joke. I wanted to scare you, that's all. The truth is, only one person died. My suicide. Nice. Nice effect. They're 
probably all just fake anyway. Bookshelves are crammed with books, but they're probably all just fake anyway. Son of a bitch. Want a Spider-Man kiss? Jeez, it's real. This is a real dead body hanging here. I don't think they meant for this to be part of their attractions. Who would have done this? That's just a doll sitting in a chair. Is Danny the doll? Or is Danny that hanging thing? Oh well, whatever. No biggie. I, 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 I don't think... I was beating him. So I can't get by him. And now it's unlocked. This mansion is quite old, so please watch your step. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way, and beneath the floor there's nothing. Is that gonna is that telling me that I'm about to hit one of those one of those death things that just kills me for no reason. I'm so sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. Dude, this place is... This is a lawsuit waiting to happen if this was a real attraction. Well, that's why I have a K Tana. I can't look at those pictures. Oh, come on! <sighs> this game is trying my patience super hard right now. Oh, 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 oh!
So dumb. To the Borley Haunted Mansion. Shut up. I I don't know if this guy is actually somebody who's like That's Danny. alive or if this is a recording this mansion is quite old. that plays so for for people who come through here. Sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. Ah, Hello, come on, Bratwat. How are you today? died like a billion times today, so I'm sorry if I'm a little salty. Ah, you stupid instant death bullcrap. First and second one didn't have instant death bullcrap. Heather, why do you instantly die so often in this game? Why would you think jumping off a train is a good idea? You just jump off the back of a train. Let's walk over a thing and get sucked in by tentacles. Where am I from? I am from Texas. In the United States of America. How about you? I need a ticket. Sell me a ticket before these dogs kill me. Where's the fortune teller? Sweden? Sweden's cool. But then again, I think everywhere is cool. Well, not everywhere. It really depends. you right in the middle of your god darn spine. If that is so, then I'm not seeing any problems on my end. So it, it probably has to do with uh, your end. Like I'm not losing any frames or anything. column here wouldn't that work so I'm sorry if you're having problems if uh, you might try refreshing uh, that might help not strong enough to budget no matter how much I gah there's got to be a way. Yeah, you, you start the ride up, and then it spins around, and then it rockets. Dead body in this box thing. There's nothing interesting here. Except what I was going to say. What I was going to say was super interesting, and now I'm stuck between this guy and a freaking wall. A god dang... Well, 
there must there always be someone there must always be something I don't sound American I don't know why I'm speaking American I'm speaking American English. Well, uh, in what way does one uh, have to speak in order to sound American? Do I have to be talking about guns constantly? Five a musical. You'll never take my guns. My accent, uh, it's a, uh, an accent in America. We're, uh, uh we're cowboys down here. I got a red shoe. If you've ever seen a movie with cowboys in it, that's where I'm from. I'm from the same place that those take place in. I wish I had a map. Oh my god, the camera. Camera, Chan, what's wrong with you? That's an American accent. That is a specific American accent. But I don't. I don't expect people to to know that unless they are actually from America. There's all kinds of American accents. Just like everybody else has different dialects and accents depending on where they're from in their country. This one just happens to be mine. Except whenever I'm talking for real, I don't talk as as uh as thick as this oh my god stop it leave me alone all right i got a shoe i have a shoe One shoe blood red. It was above the stage. Use it! Yeah, yeah, no. I still have this perfume. I have no clue what this is for. Is there a map that I missed? Could it be rust? Stop it. Stop it. I took one of you out with a knife. Think I can't take you out with a freaking katana?
Yeah, kicking in his balls. Alright. Now I want you to leave me alone so I can look around this area. Where did I come from? Uh, I came from over here. Right? This is where I came from. Oh my god. No, 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 no. About the Don, Don the Duck, one of the park's mascots. It's a lot of information that I, don't, I really don't need right now. So lost here. Look in the pizza box. Is that a, a bird's nest? A chain. Okay. Um. So I I hook the chain to the rusted door. I hook the chain to the rusted door, and then I hook the other side of the chain to the whirly thing the thing that spins around and then turn it on that's what I got from that oh my god I've, I never used so much. This half is fine. Better do something with the other half, though. I attached the chain to the column. Well, that's a lot longer of a chain than I expected. Oh, and now this is open? Or has this been open the entire time? Pick up the chain. I might be able to use it for something later. Like a fist weapon. Or I could swing it. Like a thug. Yeah. What will I do if you die? 
Take his gun. And that's a good point. Sure I took it down before with just some like some rifle bullets. Anyway, something's gonna happen. Didn't even see it. Who knows? Maybe we'd all be I shot it while it was off screen. But this is our God of Mercy axe. I don't want to see any more of it. That's a pretty good reason. Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. Besides, yeah. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. Yeah, that white vest should be just Remind me of my son. super disgusting right now. Nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people. Oh, you got you got to the la you got to the end of two B's section. Good for you. Why wouldn't you be able to choke an android? Just because they're they're machines doesn't mean that they're they don't function exactly like humans. Yeah, nah. There's all kinds of ways to end this nightmare. Yeah. You might be right. Nah. Harry did it without killing her before. I mean, I killed her a couple times on accident. But then I got the good end. <gasps> the fortune tellers. Oops. I never mean to skip those. The friggin' hair trigger in this game. You know, androids, should androids be able to cry too? Because androids cry in that game. It's a Snow White doll. It's a Cinderella doll.
There's photos on the ground. What's this? Okay. Just looks like they're shadows. Okay. Dragon and guards a treasure chest. It's just prop and not scary at all. You're not scared? How are you not scared right now? That was a friggin' dragon. But what about the other door, though? Does the other door go somewhere? No. No, I guess not. Pick up before I go to the next one. room. Feels like there's a lot of dead ends with no items in them. I need items. I'm like. I didn't, I didn't run so low of health items. It's not over yet. Do you think you're done? This place from the movie. Just because you play as 9S doesn't mean that that 2B's story is over. Only, f only uh, ending A, B, C, and D are actually like actual endings. The uh, the the rest of them are like joke endings.
13 turns count four, you will die from their curse. If you wish to escape, there is but one way out. To kill before you are killed, you will be saved by the 12th death. be two, three, four, five, If you mean from going from 2B's story to 9S's story, yes. I think you have to do them in order. I'm not sure. I don't remember. As long as I can work on happily ever after, sure. All right, it's time to see Dark Alessa or Dark Heather. Emo Heather. Coming at me with a knife, huh? Well, shotgun beats knife. Gotcha. Sebel. Sebel! Where's my red juice that I can throw in her face to get the... To get the goo out of her. I need to get the worm out of her. 
Oh my god! Alright, she's got a gun now, so I should be... If, 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 if Mac has taught me anything, it's that I can neutralize with my katana faster than you can fire your bullets. Dang it. I can take a couple more pistol whips. God dang it, why is it always... No, freaking get into your menu, you stupid... You are such a stupid bitch. I don't have my frame perfect parry timing. Oh my God. Kicker. Man, that was war that was just stupid. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just went ahead and used the gun. Where's my Molotovs. Get up, get up. How many times do I have to beat you? Oh my god!
like my frame perfect par parry timing now. Ain't like that. Faster with your freaking gun to attack me. Where you going, man? Where are you going? Come on. Back over here. Oh, you. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the worst combat. Actually, it's probably not the worst. I'm 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 sure I've 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 played worse. I'm sure. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Why? It, it's just... Just hold up your guard! What is this, Sekiro? Am I just supposed to parry everything? Am I supposed to time every guard? You don't want to just hold your- Oh, you just didn't want to do it that time. This is so bad. It's so lame. It's so boring. Get over here. Get over here. Oh my god. Do I take damage through my guard or is it is it perfect? If you, if you can guard, does it Peace. Yeah, if I had it. Oh my god. I don't even own it uh, on anything. Uh, 
I could always get it on my computer. My computer should be good enough to run Sekiro. Like, f fun fact, I, I downloaded my my computer copy of of uh, Dark Souls 3 and it runs better than Dark Souls 1. I can't. It runs better than my copy of Dark Souls 1. It's probably like 50 bucks still. Oh, I finally beat you. Oh my god, and I didn't waste a single ammo. Didn't waste a single bullet. It would be better for myself to die. After all, it's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon. When I think of the endless pain it will bring when it is birthed, I decided that, instead of the suffering and cruelty I endured in that sick room, that I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Alessa. I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that since you were me. But you know what? You and I don't think alike, after all. And it's not that I don't remember that sick room either. Ew, squelchy. Oh. I give to you unreservedly my body and my eternal soul. Whatever darkness may befall me, I will endure with you beside me. I would need to have a soul's day again. As proof of your miraculous power, guide your obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise, O oh Lord. Yeah, I know, right? We will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. O oh Lord, save us with your compassion. O oh Lord, shower us with your blessings. O oh Lord, favor us with your abundance. I wouldn't mind doing a, a freaking... I could do a Pokey Souls. A mod for DS3. I would like to play a DS3. But, yeah... You gotta play Alice first. But that's not Silent Hill, so. So I'll be good. There's something written on the door. This door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother. Admit your sins and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours. Okay. We made it to the church. Alice is just the nut. The end. How did you get here? I beat the crap out of myself. He led you here. Only since his memory. It'd be funny if Heather just shot her in the middle of her speech. When the paradise was a long dreamed for will arrive. After the judgment you determined for eternity of bliss. Oh, Alessa. The world you wanted was nearly here. That's not what I want. Not you. 
give give full reaction to this cutscene. What am I supposed to do? Just oh! Yeah, play that bitch. Is it gonna is she gonna Besides, change? I'll never forgive you for hurting my father. I was only for the salvation of mankind. Is she gonna have buzz saws in her head? For that to happen, the world must and no lips. Be and for that we need God. You self righteous witch. No one asked you to help. You despise me, don't you? You're damn right I do! That's good. Okay. So is she pregnant? So what? Yeah, so? <laughs> yeah, I know. What full reaction were you wanting? I knew what was happening. So God has been lost, we must offer our prayers and not forget our faith. We wait in hope for the day when the path to paradise will be open. Wait, is this another puzzle? But there God's strength ran out and she collapsed. All the world's people grieved this unfortunate event, yet God breathed her last. She returned to the dust. Promising to come again. <laughs> That's okay. God created beings to lead people in obedience to her. The red god Zuchilbara. The yellow god Lobster Vith. Lobster Bisque. Many gods and angels finally... God set out to create Paradiso, where people c would be happy just by being there. <laughs> salvation. God made time and divided it into day and night. God outlined the road to salvation and gave people joy, and God took endless time away from people. Birth! A birth. A man offered a serpent to the sun and prayed for salvation. A woman offered a reed to the sun and asked for joy. Feeling pity for the sadness that had overrun the earth, God was born from these two people. Origin. 
the be in the beginning, people had nothing. Their bodies ached and their hearts held nothing but hatred. They fought endlessly, but death never came. They despaired, stuck in the eternal quagmire. <gasps> Did I save? There was a save spot over here, right? Saved, right? I saved. Nothing I can do with the organ. I don't know how to play anyway. Guess I'll just follow. It's probably something I'm gonna I should have done and before I followed and I'm gonna get the bad ending now. But whatever. <laughs> I got a church map. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm here. Yeah, hold on. I remember seeing a door over here. That's to the amusement park? Now that I have done that, I'm good with going in here now. The door shut tight and I can't open it no matter how hard I try. They were drawn by real kids. Is this a confession booth? Shoot her through the wall. <laughs> and then you open the glory hole. I want Heather to just start judgment cutting with her Katana. Is that a... Uh... No. Is that Claudia? I don't know. I don't know. Sure. I saved it. Whatever. Is that a what's her face? What was her? I don't remember her name. Alessa's mom, Dahlia. I don't know. I've said it before, but the the friggin' during cutscenes, the sound just reduces in volume so much it's like they're all whispering and mumbling 
and I can't hear it. So if it's supposed to sound familiar based on the voice, I couldn't hear it. Why is my light not on? No wonder it was so dark. Did she turn it off because of the cutscene? I mean, I guess that's why I'm equipped with my gun right now. I chose to forgive because I was like, whatever. I saved it right before I came in here. Did you die already? Handgun bullets. Cassette tape. Represents the deity known as the Halo of the Sun in heraldry, symbolizes a religious group. The two outer circles are charity and resurrection. The three inner circles are present, past, and future. Usually drawn in red, occasionally drawn in black or other colors, but blue reverses the meaning into a curse on God and is therefore forbidden. Timing it right. Keep flinching. Oh! See, each one deflates in a different sound. How close am I to beating this right now? Look, a save spot. St. Jennifer. Unwavering faith under death's blade. St. Nicholas. Miraculous hands. A doctor of God. Save the game. Circle means reincarnation. That's what it said on that paper back there. So death isn't the end. Pretty good deal if you ask me. 
thanks to reincarnation, I died as a lesson, but I'm still living as myself. But, you know, just the thought of it is starting to turn my stomach. Okay, so that means reincarnation, and that's why it's a save spot, and you die, and you come back there. Okay, sure. I know, but I'm asking... Saint Alessa, mother of God, daughter of God. That's picture of me. Well, I'm asking uh, if, if I'm close to finishing it. Like, if I go to the next room, am I going to finish the game? Or do I have an entire dungeon left? Do I have an entire area that I have to do? So do. Do you know? Do you know? Because if I can just go to the next room and beat the game, we're going to finish it tonight. And then next Friday, I get to play American McGee's Alice. Mother of God, daughter of God. She's her own mom. How weird is that? Do you think she gifts herself, like, cards on, on Mother's Day? The corridors of the church are the last area. So I'm almost done. So we'll just finish it. I don't know if there's anything in here. Hey, you're not all fuzzy now. Why were you fuzzy before? If I even can. Because right now I'm kind of stumped already. So what's this perfume I got for? I've got a thing of, I got a thing of perfume. use my ammo on you. Girl's cries and footsteps disappear beyond it, after all. We move the picture of the angel. Why didn't it ask me that before? I, I looked at it before. Every hallway is a, is 
a Crash Bandicoot running toward the camera level. I, I do not care for that. Hey, it's the first boss. But much weaker. Take that, Tonfo dude. Okay. I had it equipped at one point. Oh, I don't I don't care. An achievement. What is what is the achievement for? Especially on a a, a freaking PlayStation 2 game there was no achievements. Do I get a new outfit? Do I get freaking slutty heather outfit? Tarot is based on the 22 Hebrew consonants and is said to represent the entire world. Each card, numbered 0 through 21, has a paid particular meaning. By reading these cards, fortune tellers predict the future. For example, the first card, the magician, signifies creation, wisdom, beginnings, or destruction, and fraud. The second card, the high priestess, denotes intuition, harmony, faith, or dogmatism, and arrogance. According to some texts, the gardener deck had more than 22 cards. The garden deck does not exist today. It is mentioned only in the literature. It is said that these extra cards were based on the lost Hebrew vowels and denoted an otherworldly transcendental ex existence, i.e. God. Eye of Night. These books look like real mind benders. Think I'll leave them alone for now. There's a sheet of paper here, but it's blank. The Moon Tarot. Is that Vincent? Yep. Hiya, Heather. Can you show us everything, don't you? You make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. Yeah. Especially in the movie. same God. But I'm quite sane. So why did you help me out then? Is that also part of trying to resurrect God? It's not uncommon for people to worship the same God and still disagree. God? Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. <laughs> Whichever you like. <laughs> Yeah. Do your own dirty work. You wanted to, to, to stop Claudia. I think we both had our own interests in mind. You wanted to kill Claudia. You're the only one who can get it done. I don't 
have powers like you two. Besides, I always hated getting all hot, sweaty. Oh, really? I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. Everyone Don't does stand it. Stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood and, and listening to them cry out. You feel excited when you step on them and snuff out their lives. See, is he talking about because I've had to kill a bunch of monsters because. Dude's teeth are f are By the way, really brown. I to ask, did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it. You mean this thing? Yes, that's it. As long as we have that. Well, no. I would have preferred to circumvent them and save my ammo, save all of my health kits and stuff. But in this game, it's a lot harder to navigate because they're, like, they'll trap you in corners and stuff and then grab you by the feet and knock you over. So if me killing a bunch of monsters because I was unable to walk around them is gonna get me a bad ending. That sucks. Study the etymology and evolution. What a mouthful. There is no religion that has m remained unchanged from the moment it was founded. This one is no exception. When this religion fell into the hands of immigrants, it was deeply influenced by their own original Christian beliefs. For example, the traditional representatives of these primal gods may be given the names and descriptions of Christian angels. Thus, shared characteristics begin to appear. There is also one rare example of the chief deity, creator of paradise, or lord of serpents and reeds, being dubbed with a demon's name. Of course, this was not done by believers, but by their opponents. Look, point is, don't be telling me that, yeah, yeah, I stomped on their heads. Yeah, I did that. Well, guess what? It's not like I had any other choice. Better not give me a bad freaking ending because I had to kill a couple monsters with my katana. That's gonna bug me. Would I say that I've killed over a hundred enemies? I don't know. Maybe. This magic square with strong protective and dispelling properties is called the Virun Se Seven Crest, or the Seal of Metatron. It will bring results regardless of whether the target is good or evil. Its strength, therefore, places a very high burden on the caster, as it is also difficult to control and is not usually used. 
This is why it bears the name Metatron after the angel Metatron or Metraton, also known as the agent of God. Try not to kill unless I need to. Well, if they're in, in a hallway, then I most likely need to because they're gonna get me. Oh, no, 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 you bitch. Where am I supposed to go? Where? Where go? <sighs> I'm in the bell fry. Metaton. Metaton, yes. It's a f it's an elevator. I sir I circumvented whatever I could, but it's not like I I could circumvent all that much. That's all I'm saying. All right, well I might as well go check those other doors. Yeah, for the most part, I would try to run away. Ah, oh, man. What the wrong way? Like those guys, I tend to leave those guys al alone unless I'm like, unless I really need to like look around an area because I'm lost. Is he... Uh, well, yeah. Is this a nothing? This is a nothing? Oh, come on. The whole soundtrack is awesome. The entire game's soundtrack is awesome. What a 
nothing room, but at least I got to see Mr. Man spinning his valve. Turning his valve. This is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. On the front cover, here is a picture of Dad. Really awful work. What's this doing here? Is that his name? No, I like seeing him. I just... Why Why is there just a... Why is there a, a, a bunch of crap in my way so I can't go that way? I had a dream in my dream. I opened a door. But was that really me? I had a different name. Five are true and four are lies. And there are some fibs mixed in with the truth. That's because it's scary to write only the truth. But dreams, dreams are like lies after all. Fairy tales like Oz and Alice. Here's Mother Goose and Cinderella. I used to love those. For some reason, she always drew monsters like this when she was alone. She used to draw with Claudia, too. A nice daddy and mommy and a fun school. A happy world where everyone smiled and laughed all day long. In short, everything we never had. Alright, well, this is the same room from the first game. So we're just mixing... Mixing the first game's map with the... Oh no! I'm gonna go get all of them before that happens then. A brass key. Remember little Claudia always had a hard time winning. That made her cry. I... No. It wasn't me. Alessa wrote this a long time ago. That chapel altar. It wasn't that one beautiful cha chapel. It was some other altar somewhere else. Well, Now I know my goal is to get as many tarot cards as possible. Don't know how many that is, but I can do it. What what was the point of that Valtiel hallway though? That's what I want to know. They look like the monsters to you. No, 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 you bitch. This doesn't look like a very good room. This is a very good room. The fact that I got a box of shotgun shells. I, it's just what I feel whenever she's about to go over a ledge. Because I'm not trying to do it.
I'm just trying to... I'm not trying to have her almost fall off the ledge. It's just a thing that happens, and it... There's a musty diary on the bed. This writing, is this dad's diary? Why would it be here? I sometimes have the sense, even now, that that, Alessa, that girl is a reincarnation of Alessa. I don't worry about it much now. That's all forgiven. You were, un un you were unloved, Cheryl. Or was that Alessa? Now Cheryl is Alessa again. No matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time, I thought of her only as a replacement for my lost Cheryl. When she knows the truth, will she feel bad? That's what worries me. Thanks, Dad. So I was Alessa after all. But I do have just a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. You mean Dahlia? There it is. That's the shot. Take the shot. I got a key. I got a key and there was a locked door. I know where that locked door is. You weren't here before. Neither were you. Get out of here, Tomfa. He's so cool using Tomfas. People hardly use Tomfas. Tonfers are so cool. There's rarely Tonfa users. Tonfas and boomerangs are so are so underrepresented. There should be Tonfas and boomerangs in this game. So it's either Tonfa or Boomerangs with me? No. It's just that those are the two least represented of the weapons that I like. There's much more in here now. stop see look at this look at this fat piece of crap in my way I have to kill him oh that would be pretty cool god dang it god dang it how the hell? This is the stupidest. I freaking hate this. Get up. Just go around him. That dude is NTR incarnate? How so? He has no wiener. He doesn't even have tentacles. D 
Did I just go backwards? Oh my god. I did, didn't I? I went backwards. I could have circumvented that. <laughs> There's a girl named Alessa in my class. If your memory is any good, you may remember her. She's the one I said they called a witch. Most likely her mother is abusing her. I've never seen her come in without some sort of scrape or bruise. Her expression is pitifully dark for a six-year-old. Something like this may not be so uncommon. Rather than coming up with pointless ideas, it's best just to watch and wait. But isn't there something I could do to help? I'm considering consulting a lawyer, but I do have my reservations. That's why I thought I'd ask you, my friend, for your opinion first. K. Gordon. I mean, mech, mecha trash, there's gonna be, get away from me. There, there's gonna be tonfas and boomerangs in mecha trash. No, open the door, open the door. You, I hate. Did you know that? Hey, look, I don't have to use my freaking full health items anymore for once. Tonferangs? Oh, that would be the best. That'd be the greatest. If they existed. Do you know about what happened here 17 years ago? You've been here a long time. You must have heard some details. A group of pagans, blinded by earthly desires, Spit in the very face of God. They tried to use the seal of Metatron to prevent God's awakening. But God drove the unbelievers away and threw them into the abyss. <sighs> but due to their wickedness, God was unable to be born properly. And so she has slumbered ever since. The womb of the Holy Mother until the time of the awakening. Till the time of the awakening. That's it, huh? Well, thanks. Father Vincent. Father. I heard that the Holy Mother has been found. Is it true? Alessa has been found? Did Claudia say that? Yes. Then it must be true. Really Bless the Lord. Maybe it's because of her great faith. But I could never be like that. I wouldn't want to. Nor I. Sister Claudia, why do you want to have children? Well now, let's both show our faith by forgetting about this little problem, okay? Yes. Does that mean this land will finally be the home of eternal paradise? If God wills it, my sister. If God wills it. So this is Vincent's room? These letters don't have a bunch of suggestions. People are starting to voice their dissatisfaction about Father Vincent using the organization's money for his own personal benefit. I've also heard rumors that Father Vincent has been extorting donations from s some followers. Is he really the right person for such a position? I'm in no place to deny all he's done to make the organization grow. Even though we believe in God, if there were some sort of gathering, shouldn't we be valued not for our limited talents or our talkativeness, but for the depth of our faith? L.S. Lisa Silverstone. Oh, I guess I killed him. Oh, 
Odin. Odin must do. This seems like a bunch of nothing. Just a dangerous room to get me killed. This seems like a bunch of nothing. I think I'm gonna leave. Cha cha cha. Tarot. Old birthday card on the desk. So she was still hanging on to this. To little Claudia. Happy sixth birthday. I love you as if you were my real sister. Here's to you. They're not real sisters? Name Claudia Wolf is written in very small on the cover. Looks like this is her diary. November 10th. She didn't die then. She was born. I knew that for a fact. But then why haven't I found her yet? They were supposed to need her powers to build Paradiso. For the happiness of the people. She was supposed to be reborn for that. I'd really like to see her. Read the Book of Praise. I want to thank Father for lend read the Book of Praise. I want to thank Father for lending it me such an invaluable book. I found what I'd been searching for in there. How to awaken God, but it's much too cruel. Will I be able to pull it off when I see her? November 16th. I was free all day, so I read A Modern History of Refugees and Young Slaves, Child Exploitation. I don't want to be th a mere bystander in this world. I can't do anything now, though, and that's what's hard. Those are the ones that you chose to read, huh? Hmm. Here comes Speed Racer. <sighs> All right. Little help here. I have three tarot cards. Is that all I need? Live. I missed this. How did I miss this? Go home. Drop dead. Thief. Hmm. This used to be Alessa's. I mean, this was my desk once upon a time. Is there anything inside of it? What a tiny chair. I can't sit in it anymore. Thank God. Well, it brings back memories, but not very pleasant ones. There's a map here, but I don't need to take it with me. Yeah, I have a map. I drew it myself. What about that door over there, though? Wait. God dang it. Alright, so... I got... I got all that. Don't know where I went. 
become Speed Racer. blanket. I don't think I'll need it. I'm not cold. Wait a second. Papers in the file. I'm feeling that it's a handwritten copy of some book. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been in here. I've been in here. So how many tarot cards do I need? Because I have three now, and if that's enough, if that's all of them, then I can start heading back to Alessa's room. I don't remember what's in a lot of those. Guess I'll go this way while everything gets gooey. No, stop it! There are five tarot cards? Oh, there's one. Now I need one more. That's not a door. What am I doing? I'm never gonna give a less room in the church's basement floor. Hangman Terry Card Morgue. Got it. High Priestess. Got it. Full tarot. Wait, do I have all four or all five? One, two, three, four. A night moon hanged high priest. Oh, cool. So I could just go to uh, uh, Alessa's room. I wish you would look forward. I actually got under it without a, without a 
damaging me. That's weird. I feel like that one missed me too, but at the same time, I don't know. Full. Fool. Fool tarot card in a book. Oops. Hmm, a memo book. Something's written inside. She's just beyond this door. I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense the presence of something extremely dangerous, even sickening, or maybe that th what they call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door. Enough of this idle chit-chat. God, I'm not. But I fully intend to save her. No, them. The last entry was written some 17 years ago. Oh, yeah, because his save spots were... Freaking notepads. Looks like dad wrote this too. Can't turn on the light. You can speed racer. Let's get where it's from again. Well, it doesn't matter. In a book. I mean, there's a, there's a sketchbook. Yeah, it's pretty 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 good. Pretty pretty good. I'm not seeing a book. There's no books that I can actually look at other than this one. In the church's basement floor. Hangman. I mean, I'm in the, I don't know if this counts as the basement, but I'm in Alessa's room. Five are true and four are lies. And there are some fibs mixed in within with the truth. That's because it's scary to write only the truth. But dreams, dreams are like lies after all. Cool. man thank you thank you don't look now here comes 
speed racer. Moon. Well, moon should actually be up here, right? Because it's the moon. It's in the sky. High Priestess. Maybe here. Hangman there. And there, yay. Yay, where's the... F where's... Th I don't know. I can't find the fool. In here. <sighs> I'm gonna look it up myself. Okay, Silent Hill 3 Fool Tarot Card Location. Hidden in the hospital room on the basement floor. Not in Alessa's. A clue is in the sketchbook? Well, I still need to go get the... I need to go to the hospital room. Wherever the hospital room is in here. Maybe it's in here. I noticed the footprints, but I just thought it was like a weird thing. Oh, in Alessa's hospital room. Okay, that makes more sense. Got the fool tarot card. Aglatophatus. That was that Aglaufatus. Was that the was that the red stuff from the first one? I feel like I have to read it, but at the same time I don't want to. Red liquid or crystals resembling blood, according to the Kabbalah. The name is taken from an herb with the power to dispel evil spirits. It is said to grow in Arabian deserts. May be vaporized or applied as a poultice to guard against demons. It is powerful, but as it is rare, it is extremely difficult to obtain. And I have some. Hey, hey. I have some. Look at that. I have a glaphitus. There's a picture of me when I was seven. I looked bored and sad. 
Well, of course I do. I was always like that back then. 24 years ago, Ma Dahlia used me to summon God. God was in my womb, but I couldn't deliver her. Then I was shut up here in this hospital room. Stayed here until Dad helped me out when I was 14. God ate away from at me from within, driving me mad with suffering. There I was, wishing I could just die and be done with it. But I went on living that nightmare for seven years. Looking at this bed just reminds me of those awful days. And I don't want to remember them, because I'm not Alessa anymore. But Alessa is still me. I'm really not trying to deny it or anything. <laughs> Give me ampules. Gib ampules. Am I near the end? Uh, yes. Which is why I'm still going. I'm close to the end. Where did you come from? You weren't here before. God, get out of here. Well, I'm glad that that was the last one that I had to get. the fool take it take it take it take it no. didn't this card mean something like genuine belief just like her this was in that mortgage place so it's a pitiful card Whose story so far is the darkest of the three MCs to Yume? Uh, uh, 9S is, is pretty, it's pretty bad. Such a pitiful card. Found this in the archives. I don't think it's especially good card. Mm -hmm. This was in my old room, in a hospital room. What did this one mean again? Found this in the chapel. Is it a real tarot card, though? You mean Harry, James, or Heather? Uh, probably... Probably Heather, just because the monsters are so much harder. And if you take that as, like, a canon thing, that the monsters are harder, then, you know, that sucks. High Priest. I don't know. Am I on normal mode? Yes. I am on normal mode, but every like all everything is so much harder. Hard mode for puzzles. Yeah. And I I actually gave up on only one of them so far. Five are true and four are lies, and there are some fibs mixed in with the truth. Is that all I get? That's because it's scary to write only the truth. But dreams, dreams are like lies, after all. I wish I had a little bit more information about these tarot cards. The Eye of Night and the Moon. Say that the moon is up here. 
Eye of Night is up here because it's also with the moon. High Priestess will be right here. And then we'll put the Fool right here. No? All right. Am I supposed to be making a story with these? Hanged man. There's some the some fibs mixed in with the truths, meaning that this one, the one that's like, hey, is this a real card? Is not real, right? Wow, there's really nothing for me to work through on this one. This one is just do it, huh? Okay, that's about the Metatron thing. Okay. If these people, uh, um, if we if we were to say that each each person where I got one is a uh, a thing, so I found the high priestess in Claudia's room. Uh, the moon. Tarot was in a, in the church library. Uh, so the fool, the f uh, yeah sure. I didn't put them in any specific order. Well, I did, but not really knowing what I'm supposed to be doing. So I put the hanged man down here, fool here, high priestess here, Tarot. Um, Uh, so if the high priestess is Claudia and the fool is Alessa, Alessa is supposed to be like a god. So I'll just put it. Why do I have to take it before I can put? So let's put the fool. I have all but one in the correct spot. I have no clue how I did that. I don't know. Like, what am I supposed to know for this? Remove the fool for you. There you go. Put that there. And then put that there. Okay, hanged man middle. Hanged man in the middle. Well, you told me to remove the fool. The fool was in the middle.
Like, I feel like there's no... Is there some information that I just don't know? So you want the hanged man in the middle? Or the fool in the middle? I feel like the fool should be in the middle. If, if Alessa is the fool and everything revolves around her, then she should be the middle. High Priestess should be beside her because they were like sisters. The moon. The hanged man. Who was the hanged man? Was that... Was that, uh, Vincent? Was Vincent the hanged man? No, the other three are wrong, but in correct placings. Switch them around. Okay, well, I guess I'll put her here and her that there and that there no high priestess okay what are you just the right is correct. Moon is now correct. Oh, I guess. I'll take that back. Put I above that. Put her there. And then I have the hanged man. So, fool in the middle, moon on the right. Correct! There we go. How does this work? What was the hint that I missed? for this what is the explanation for this being right all right i'm gonna assume i'm gonna assume that there's a, a boss in here among the gibberish are Roman numerals when only the Roman numerals I, V, A, L, C, D, M are isolated. The clue was five are true and four are lies. Uh, whatever. I didn't see any Roman numerals on those, but okay. It's fine. We did it. That's all we needed to do. It was the clue in the sketchbook? But I read the sketchbook. Was it actually drawn in there? And I was actually supposed to look at the pages? Oh my god. What do I want? Well, for the two of you to die, that would be nice. 
Then I can relax. Mom, did you stop believing in God? God knows. Just look around you. But I do believe in her. In my heart. I fear her, and I adore her. But I haven't lost my mind like you. You think that this is the work of God? Isn't this all nothing more than your own personal nightmare? Just like less of 17 years ago? If this really is the work of God, I say she has lousy taste. Hmm, yeah. You mock God? Traitor. You will go to hell. Not that again. For show, sure. yeah. Who do you think you are claiming to know God's will? Go home. <laughs> As you stand on a rusted, bloody this church is grate. I built it with my power. The power of money that you view with such scorn. Although, I admit that this atrocious scenery is all yours. If you continue to get in my way, it will kill me. Am I interrupting something? Well, the guest of honor has arrived. Let's get this party started. Heather, go ahead and kill this Let's get this party started. Why would you turn your back on her? What did you do? Mm, nothing important. You're not going to run? I guess this is the end. No, the beginning. As Jason said, the time has come. Vanessa, I'm sad. You didn't get through to us on your own. But I'm not sure God is letting that hate in your heart. It's time for mankind to be released from the shackles of sin which bind them. But a God born from hatred can never create a perfect paradise. Do I get to see the crowning? Do I get to see the disgusting minge bubble? Yeah, and that's why I equipped my my machine gun. Is it gonna be the same thing that I fought as Harry? Like the same graphics and everything, all blocky? That'd be pretty funny. You feel so guilty about it. Why don't you go to hell? Heather, use the seal. Vincent? The seal of Metatron? 
Don't tell me. Now your stupid dream is over. Don't tell me. That's just a piece of junk. What do you think you can do with that? Is she going to turn into the thing? I'm sorry to Is she going to throw it to her and she's going to catch it and then she's going to th turn into the thing? <laughs> She gonna turn into a Cenobite. Ew! I'm all burny. Yeah. Judgment day. So I do get to start th throwing judgment cuts with my Katana, huh? Is that what you're telling me? You're not attacking me. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> You thought. <laughs> I'm changing everybody's expectations up in here. Yeah! <laughs> Cough up the little jelly bay! Bet you didn't expect me to do that, did you? I aborted it! She's eating it. Ew. <laughs> what a raunchy bitch. I'm gonna shoot it whenever it comes out of you. I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna riddle it full of holes. Mm. 
Do you expect me to do that? gonna fall in the hole and then it's gonna come out of her and then she's it's gonna fly up is that what's gonna happen oh snap No, I meant, did you expect me to use the Aglophytus? Or whatever, the, the red, the red orb inside of her locket. Did you expect me to do that? This is a dangerous room. Hey, Valve Bro. I almost just shot Claudia. I thought about it for a second and was like, am I just supposed to shoot her? I was like, that doesn't sound right. I'm gonna eat the thingy. Can't be dead. I was gonna kill you. Oh, you're not gonna aim at it? Oh, jeez, man. I can't tell if it's hitting. Jeez, man. And now I can't tell how healthy I am. I can't tell how hurt I am. Can't aim up. Is that just a thing that you can't do? God damn it. Oh my god. You 
can aim up with this gun, huh? I'm so sick of this combat system. What? I'm so sick of this terrible combat system. How many bullets does it take to kill a god? Jeez. <sighs> Last heal. You bitch. Dang it, stop it! When are you gonna die? God, I'm not gonna freaking survive this. And I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo and heals. Awesome, I'm glad that I uh, am gonna lose. Wait, I got one shotgun shell. And I'm dead. Oh my god. No move! Yeah, deaded. This is stupid. Look, look at me. Getting close up for the extra damage. Look at that, no reload time. Stop it.
Because this is apparently the only one she can aim up with. can't block that fast enough. Dang it! This is pissing me off so bad. I'm so annoyed by this. Much more. I feel like I don't have enough healing to to freaking do this. And there's no way that I can do I can block that. Awesome. I had just enough healing. God. Screw the Silent Hill combat system. Now we see the ending I get? You mean I didn't choose the ending by eating the... Eating the, the orb thing? It was dependent on the, the amount of enemies I killed. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if I killed a hundred, but I guess we're gonna find out. I ran around what I could run around and I killed what I had to to get past. For the most part. Unless I opened the door and we were they were in a room and then I was like, I want whatever whatever they're guarding. So I got I killed them. So I might I might have killed too many people. I might have killed too many monsters. Still 
What? Oh. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> what? It's a joke. She's very nonchalant about all this. The normal ending. Not the good ending. Oh, and now the game crashes. Sick. That's freaking sweet. Mm hmm. Yep. Is there anything like after the credits or anything? Why would she have killed him in the other end? Just because I had killed too many things. Why? I don't understand. <sighs> well... Sadly, we're not gonna get to see the credits. I don't know if there was anything after that. Was there stuff after that? Unless it decides to respond. But that's probably not gonna happen. Alright then. So I didn't get the good ending though. I got the normal ending. And I didn't get the bad ending. Is that what you're telling me? How many endings are there? So there's only two endings? Well, hello, Spooky Lucy Lucifer. Three, normal possessed and UFO. Well, I got the I got the best ending then, unless UFO is the best ending. And acquire the Heather Beam. Then in a replay game, use it on at least thirty monsters in Harry's apartment. The ending will occur, and the game will end right there. The Heather Beam. Okay, cool. Well, sadly, because the game just crashed before the the credits, uh, we don't get to see the the picture at the end or whatever of going to visit Harry's grave. But I don't I don't understand. The movie said that he was alive. He he was alive in the movie at the end of the movie. Why wasn't he alive? Why, why he did. Yes. Next Friday is American McGee's Alice. The first one. In case anybody's wondering. Ah. <laughs> that exclamation point at the end. I know. <laughs> it's like you really think I, I think the movie is canon. <laughs> Uh, either way, 
That that will be the end for the stream. Gone for six hours and forty one minutes. Uh, I thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Eddie's Pizza is canon. That's kind of gross. Like, he, he was making love to that pizza. I don't know. I wonder what kind of what kind of toppings was on that. I'm hungry. So after, after going through endless meat hallways, and, uh... I'm hungry and I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream and go get some food. Yes. So I'm gonna get some food and then I'll get on Discord. But I'm gonna get food first. And then I'm gonna eat it. And then I'll get on Discord. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I hope you all have a good night.